So last time we solved this problem, example 3 9, for the mean and the variance. And we just utilized the formula for the mean and the variance calculation. So let's proceed for the expected value. For expected value of a function of a discrete random variable, if x is a discrete random variable with probability mass function f of x, so your your expected value for h of x is just a summation ng h of x f of x. Remember, your expected value of x is equal to the summation of x f of x. So, ang gagawin nyo lang yung x mapapalitan ng h of x. So, pag ang h of x mo ay x minus mu squared, so, magigilang siyang expected value ng x minus mu uh, squared. So, this will be your uh, variance ng variance of x. Okay, so let's have this one. So, uh, x is the number of bits in error in the next 4 bits transmitted. So, yung kanina problem. What is the expected value of the square of the number of bits in error? So, uh, as recall, yung h of x mo dito will be x squared. So, mangyayari, squared nyo lang lahat ng value ng x and multiply each to its corresponding. So, squared mo lang lahat yan. Okay? And multiply it dun sa corresponding uh, function niya and get the sum of all of that. So, ang total mo ay 0.50. So, you can use your calculator or Excel for the calculation. Let's have the discrete uniform distribution. This is another uh, unit distribution function where all the probability of each item are the same. So, I think may equally like. If the random variable x assume the values x1 to xn with equal probability, then the uniform distribution of the discrete random variable is 1 over n. So, let's have this example for serial number. The first digit of a part serial number is equally likely to be any one of the digits 0 to 9. If one part is selected from a large batch and x is the first digit of the serial number, x has a discrete uniform distribution with probability 0.1. Kasi 10, 1 divided by 10. For each value in R, which is your sample set, 0 to 9. So, the f of x or the probability is 1 over 10 or 0.1. Then, uh, for each value, we can uh, plot this one as a uniform distribution. Malina. Okay. Now, if you have the distribution uh, value from A to B, so... Para makarating ka sa B is A1 plus A, uh, A plus 2. And take note that B is always greater than or equal to A. And the number of values or uh, item will be B minus quantity A minus 1. Or we can have B minus A plus 1 value in the inclusive interval. Therefore, your F of X will be 1 over B minus A plus 1. And the mean value for your expected value of x will be b plus a over 2 and the variance will be b minus a plus 1 squared minus 1 all over 12. Note that your b plus a is the midpoint. Okay? Let's have this one. Let the random variable x denote the number of the 48 voices line that are in use at a particular time. Assume that X is a discrete uniform random variable with range of value from 0 to 48. So, find the expected value of X and the standard deviation. Standard deviation is just the square root of your variance. So, from this, we can calculate yung, using the formula. This is B plus A over 2. Over 2 lang to. So, yan siya. And for the variance, this is... Uh, Ang variance natin ay yung squared nito. So, this is uh, B minus A plus 1 quantity squared minus 1 over 12. 
So, para makuha yung standard deviation, square root lang. Kaya may square root. So, if you get the, your calculator and compute that one, that will be 14.40. Okay, let's proceed with the binomial distribution. So, for binomial distribution, let's consider first the following random experiment and random variable. So, number one, flip a coin 10 times. So, let x be the number of heads obtained. So, 10 times. Ano yung outcome mo pag uh, mag-flip ka ng coin? So, basically, it's just head or tail. But, the outcomes na hinihingi sa atin is the number obtained, x obtained. So, posibleng uh, 0 to 10. Pero, head and tail slang siya. A word machine tool produce 1% defective part. Let x be the number of defective parts in the next 25 parts produced. So, kada uh, sample mo, you will have two outcomes, which is the defective or non-defective, but it will be at 25 possible counts. Ito yung number of defective. Okay? Each sample of air has a 10% chance of containing a particular rare molecule. Let X equals the number of air samples that contain the rare molecule in the next 18 samples. So, Meaning the, the possibility that uh, you have a rare molecule is uh, 10%. Okay? 10%. And the other one is 90% na uh, wala. Walang rare molecule. Of all bits transmitted through a digital transmission channel, 10% are received in error. So you have error or no error. So, let x be the number of bits in error in the next 5 bits. So, 5. So, nakikita nyo ba yung, yung pattern? Okay? A multiple choice test containing 10 questions, each with 4 choices. And you guess at each question. Let x be the number of questions answered correctly. So, basically, dalawa lang. So, either correct or wrong. Tama? Nangyumulihan. Ayun lang yung uh, outcome per item. But you will have 10 questions. The next 20 birth, the hospital lets X be the number of female. So, uh, ang outcome mo, you have male or female babies. But you will get in 20 number. Okay? So, basically, note, uh, yung last, pareho lang din yan. Uh, yung note na lang, yung, yung ano natin. The probability of success in each trial is constant. Diba? Lahat doon constant. But dito, 50%. Kasi 50-50 yung sa coins. Ito, ano yung probability? 0.1 yung defective. Yung non-defective, 0.9. So, pareho lang yun. Kada sa ito, yung uh, 10%. Each sample of air has 10% chance. So, 10% lang kung may rare or wala. Ito ay error. So, May 10% ka na error or walang error which is 90%. Ito, correctly, uh, may 4 choices. So, ang correct mo doon, 1 out of 4. So, that's 0.25%. And the other one is 0.75. Okay? Kasi isa lang naman ang tama. This one, number of births, male and female. So, 50 per P. For this one, 35%. Okay? So, pare-pareho at each trial. Okay, now, uh, yung may two outcome in one trial is a Bernoulli's trial or Bernoulli's experiment. So, a random experiment consists of n Bernoulli's trial such that the trial are independent from one another. Each trial results in only two possible outcomes. We label it a success or failure. And the probability of success in each trial denoted as fear remains Constant. So, meaning constant siya. Random variable x that equals the number of trials that result in a success is a binomial random variable with parameters p from 0 to 1 and n is equal to 1 to infinity. The probability mass function of x is noted as this one, the combination of n taken x times p raised to x times 1 minus p raised to n minus x. x is value from 0 to n. That will be your binomial distribution. 
Okay? So the random variable x that equals the number of trials that result in a success is a binomial random variable with parameter p0 to 1 and n1 to n. So I think my probability. The cons for a constant a, b, the binomial expansion, ito siya, a plus b is equal to the summation of the combination of n, k, a raised to k, b, n minus k, n raised to k, and from k to n, from 0 to n. So, take note of the combination. So, calculator na lang to, ha? So, combination of 10, taken 3, calculate. Okay. 10 combination of 3, or taken 3, combination of 10 taken 3, 120. Para ba tayong sagot? Oh, 120. Yung second, uh, combination of 15 taken 10. So, 3,003. Para ba tayong ng sagot? Okay, yung last. 100, so combination of 100 taken 4. Ang sagot ko ay 3921225. Or 3,921,225. Dapat pareha tayo ng sagot. Mayroon lang siya. Factorial. So you have your calculator. So hindi na ito mahirap. Now, let's have this uh, problem for organic pollutant. Each sample of water has a 10% chance of containing a particular organic pollutant. Assume that the sample are independent with regards to the presence of the pollutant. Find the prob probability that in the next 18 sample, exactly 2 contains the pollutant. So, ang probability, uh, uh, let x denote the number of sample that contains the pollutant in the next 18 sample analyzed. Then x is the binomial random variable with probability 0.1 and n equals to 18. So, ang hinahanap sa atin, yung probability of x exactly 2. Yung value. So, this is combination of 18 taken 2. Yung P natin ay 0.1 raised to 2 times 0.9 raised to 16. Nasusundan. So, ayan yung probability. Raise ko na siya. So, that's the probability. The combination of 18. So, mag-calculator tayo. Combination, ah, sorry, 18, tapos yung combination taken to times 0.1 raised to 2 times 0.9 raised to 16. So, dapat ito yung nasa calculator nyo, kung nakikita nyo. Then, equal sign, so 0 0.2835, 0 0.2835 yung sabi. Hmm. Okay, so if you use your Excel, ito lang yung kailangan yung i-type by no. Yal distribution, 2 from 18, yung P ay 0.1 false. Ready now. Okay, oh, let's have this one. Determine that the, probabi the probability that at least 4 sample contain the pollutant. So this is the probability of at least X is greater than or equal to Siya. Okay? So, ito siya. Ang gagawin nyo, greater than or equal to 4. Uh, dahil, ang kailangan nyong i-add ay yung probability ng P of X equals 5 plus probability of X equals 6 plus dot 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 plus probability of X equals 18. Lahat siya. Then, pwede namang gamitin to na calculation. Or, pwedeng itong isa, yung 1 minus P of X less than 4. So, ang i-add nyo lang, itong P of X less than 4, sorry, is equal to P of X equals 1 plus P of X equals 2 plus P of X equals, ah, uh, sorry, 0 pala, una. 0, 1, 2, plus P of X equals 3. Okay? So, kada probability, ito yung 0. So, papalitan nyo lang to 0, 0, 
0, yan yun. Raise ko na ha. Raise natin. Yan yung sa 0. Yung sa 1, papalitan nyo lang to para dito. Ito yung, ito yung x equals 0. Ito x equals 1. Ito ay x equals 2. Ito ay x equals 3. So, pag sinubstitute nyo yung x dyan, kada kinuha nyo yung value, ito dapat yung sagot. And when you you add them and you subtract nyo sa 1, ito siya. Pareho lang siya no, no, pag in-add nyo yung 5 to 18. Pero mas madami yon kaya mas madaling mag-minus na lang tayo. So, you can use, based ko na lahat, you can use this function sa uh, sa uh, Excel. Pag true siya, we'll add from 3 to 0. Okay? Now, let's have this one. Now, determine the probability that x is 3 included. x is between 3 to 7. 3 is included. So, this one is probability of uh, 3 3 less uh, x 7. Yeah, 3 to 7. So, this is probability of x equals 3 plus probability of x equals 4 plus probability of x equals 5 plus probability of x equals 6. So, ito kailangan isa-isahin nyo siya. Okay? Or you can use erase lahat. Erase pala lahat. You can use this one, yung summation from 3 to 6. So, this one, when x is equal to 3, ito ay x equals 4. Ito ang x equals 5. This one is x equals 6. So, substitute nyo lang. Diba 3, 3, 3. Then, calculate 1.168. Pag 4 naman, 4, 4, 4. And so on and so forth. Ang sagot ay 0.265. Okay, you can use this one as binomial distribution. Pag true, nang nakalagay, it will sum from 1 to 3. Okay? Okay. Uh, you can use table 2 for the community binomial table for the selected value. Pero kaya nang calculate yan. Okay? So, binomial mean and variance, if x is a binomial random variable with parameter p, so yung expected value is just np, and yung variance will be np times 1 minus for the number of transmitted bit received an error in example 3 16 n is 4 and p is equal to 0 0.1 find the mean and variance of the binomial random variable so for the expected value mean np lamp so i use the formula 4 times 0 0.1 so that's 0 0.4 for the variance np times 1 minus p so i use the formula lang 4 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 so that's 0.36 and for the standard deviation, square root lang nito. Okay? Square root lang. So, ito ay square root ng 0 0.36. Okay, so we'll end here.